So in a recent report from Chris Fedor and Michael Scotto on the Hoopsite podcast, links in the description, what we're hearing is that Michael Scotto mentioned that there had been some chatter about Cleveland's potential interest in Brandon Ingram. However, from Michael Scotto's conversations with league sources, Cleveland isn't keen on trading for Brandon Ingram and then having to pay him in a substantial amount of money in an extension after his contract season. While New Orleans might value Garland if they were to part with Ingram, the trade doesn't seem to fit Cleveland's strategy strategy based on intel. Same thing goes if they were willing to trade Allen, as Cleveland would need to be blown away to considering moving Garland and Allen, as they've received multiple offers for Allen over the past few years. But let's just sit down and talk about what could a Pelicans trade for. I first off think multiple first round picks need to be involved for Garland or Allen, at least the first round pick in this year's draft and a first round pick in next year's draft because they're going to probably try to use this year's pick. So let's just say they go after Garland and they're going to go cheap on center down the road. I mean, I've talked about this to you guys before. What if they wanted both of those guys? Well, if they try to get both of those guys, Garland and Allen make about fifty nine point five million dollars. So I don't think that's going to happen. Well, if you did Brandon Ingram, you could literally package Brandon Ingram with I think what Brandon Ingram and just you don't you do Brandon Ingram and picks two picks and Garland and that could get it done but I don't think that's what would get it done it'd probably be Garland and Jordan I mean Garland for Jordan Hawkins two picks and Brandon Ingram but the other ways to do that deal I've said before the crazy Jared Allen and Darius Garland for like Brandon Ingram package with Larry Nance, Dyson Dan. I mean, you don't even need to package that Larry Nance. You could actually do the deal. Dyson Daniels, Jordan Hawkins, which right there brings you to about like 9.5 plus Brandon Ingram's gets you to about already 30, 45 million. You throw in the Matt Ryan, Jeremy Robinson, Earl, EJ Liddell's contracts. And right there, that gets you to about 6.6 so you're already at like 52.6 so you could honestly right there eat the contract and that 52 all that and trade all those players for jared allen and brandon ingram it just would never happen because you're gutting the roster but it's actually quite possible for them to go out and get brandon ingram split brandon ingram into both garland and allen in terms of salary i just don't think they have the assets to convince the cavaliers to do that trade and plus the whole thing with brandon ingram is brandon ingram at this point uh, as he i like the guy he's 26 years old for, but the thing is is it feels like brandon ingram's older than 26 years old as at this point he's a guy who's played eight nba seasons he's going into year nine and he's never played more than 64 games i guess he's played 79 but he hasn't played 64 more than 64 games since or you know this was the most games he's actually played all right the guy doesn't play enough games and that's the whole problem out here so when you look at a guy like jared allen like do you that's yeah jared allen and darius garland it's worth trading for an injury prone player and then you would have you would have a hole in the roster so that's the whole other problem that becomes so um, i think it's a bit harder to answer this one because i don't think there's a clear path to solving where you know brandon ingram and like i just think mm, i don't know i don't know i don't know i want to hear your guys thoughts